In this series of videos, we'll be bonding atoms together in 1-2-3-D design to create different types of molecules. Before we actually start doing that though, let's go over a couple of the basic camera controls in 1-2-3-D design. First, if we right click, we can rotate the camera. You can also rotate the camera by left clicking and dragging on the view cube and clicking on the sides of the view cube go to the respective sides. The arrows do the same thing. Lastly, if you hold the middle mouse button, you can pan the view. Additionally, you can zoom in and out by scrolling with your mouse wheel. All of these camera controls are also visible in the top right in gray. You can always return to your home view by clicking on the home button next to the view cube. In this short series of videos, we'll be using a small library to create atoms and molecules. Let me show you really fast how we use this by creating a simple water molecule. We start off by going up to the 123D icon and clicking on insert, and then from my computer. This will bring up a navigation window, which you'll need to navigate to the library that you should have downloaded already. I'll go ahead and import an oxygen atom by clicking on oxygen and then open. Our oxygen atom only has two bond points since it only has two free valence electrons. All right, I'll also move this away from the center so that way it doesn't overlap with any other atoms we import. Water, being H2O, also has two hydrogens. So I'll import a hydrogen from our library since we need two hydrogens now, I'll duplicate it by copying it with Control c and then pasting it with Control v I'll now move the new copy out of the way, and now we can start using the Snap tool to attach our hydrogens to our oxygen. Once I click on Snap, I click on the first side of the hydrogen and click on the bond point of the oxygen. This snaps them together. So once more, click on the hydrogen's bond and click on the oxygen's bond, and it snaps the two bonds together. And that's how we quickly and easily model molecules in 1-2-3-D design. In the next set of videos, we'll be going over how to make a sodium stearate molecule, which is one of the most common surfactants used in everyday soaps.